Wow, hello my people. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Your wish has always been my command. Thanks always. Well, meanwhile, this is another one. All right, this is another one. Okay, on this one it says, Lekki shooting. So we will look gravely implicated. Fanny Coyote react to Ami's claim. All right, that is it. Femi Fanny Coyote, former aviation minister, has reacted to the defense by the 81 Division of the Nigerian Army on the shooting at the Lekki Toll Gate in Lagos. Fanny Coyote said the denial by the Nigerian Army was a grave implication on the state governor, Babajide Sonwolu. In a tweet, the former minister said Sonwolu was thrown under the bus by the Army. He wrote, the at HQ Nigerian Army claim it was the Lagos state government that asked for soldiers to be deployed at Lekki. The implications of this for at Jide Sonwolu are grave. He has been thrown under the bus by the military. Recall that the 81 Division of Nigerian Army had claimed that Son Wolu had invited them to intervene in the NSAS crisis. A statement by the division, however, insisted that its soldiers did not shoot at the peaceful protesters. The division described the report of shooting as force aimed at causing energy. Meanwhile, Sonwolu has now reacted and about to tell the truth and he said that Lagos panel on SARS will probe Lekki shooting. Okay, and then the Lagos state governor Babajide Sonwolu has expanded the scope of the panel of inquiry and restitution for victims of SARS. The committee announced on, on October 15 will look into right abuses by the disbanded Special Anti-Robbery Squad SARS. On Tuesday, Sonwolu confirmed that the panel will investigate the lucky shooting. The scope of the panel has been expanded to cover the lucky tool incident, the governor tweeted. Memoranda can be submitted through the panel's email. Judicial panel on SAS at lagosstate.gov.ng and you can call. Okay, on 09010513203 and 09010513204 and 09010513205 for inquiries. Sittings will take place on Tuesday, Fridays, and um, Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Lagos Court of Arbitration. The address is 1A Remy Oluwode Street, Marua Roundabout, Lekki Expressway. All right, the Nigerian army attack on unharmed protesters has been condemned globally. On October 20th, soldiers opened fire as citizens demanding for an end to police brutality waved Nigerian flags and sang the national anthem. The international community has demanded prosecution of culpable security personnel. Meanwhile, a lot of people have joined the NSAS protest. Renu Oduala, Temitokwe Majeko Dumi joined Lagos panel to represent youth. And some of the youth have volunteered to join the panel to be able to tell their minds on this. And that person, one of them, is called Renu Oduala, Temitokwe Majeko Dumi. They all, they both joined the Lagos panel to represent the youth. Two leading lights of the NSAS protest, Renu Oduala and Temitokwe Majeko Dumi, have joined the Lagos panel of inquiry and restitution for victims. The body constituted by the state government was announced on October 15. The duo were nominated and voted for by youths in online voting. Movement Nigeria, a coalition of protest groups, announced their selection in a statement. Odola, a brand strategist and an advocate for social justice, has been at the forefront of the agitation. Meanwhile, Temitokwe, an administrator and transformational leader, has been advocating for an end to police brutality in Nigeria. The representatives are 
tasked with listening to the submission of survivors interrogating interrogating the accused personnel determining the veracity veracity of all claims recommending punishment for the guilty and appropriate compensation for the victims sittings will take place on tuesday fridays and saturdays from 10 am to 4 pm at the lagos court of arbitration 1a remy oluwode street marua roundabout lekki express we lekki phase one lagos we hereby invite everyone who has been impacted or been a victim of harassment extortion or brutalization by members of the nigerian police force sas unit and the lekki toll gate shooting to take advantage of this opportunity for justice the statement read all right on Tuesday, Governor Babajide Sonwolu welcomed the representatives to the panel. Well done to the youth in Lagos for coming together to select Renu Odola and Majeko Dumite Mitokwe to join the Lagos Judicial Panel on SARS as part of our commitment to justice and compensation for victims of police brutality proceedings. Our public follow at Lagos SARS panel. He tweeted, all right, and that has been said so far. Well, the thing is, we thank God for his mercy upon Nigeria. The truth has revealed itself. The truth has to be told. Nigerians must be vindicated. Nigerian youth must be vindicated. The blood of the innocent protesters who were shot dead at the Lekki Toll must vindicate the Nigerian youth. And as it is, this is a panel. Then, who do we believe what is actually going to happen here? That is what a lot of people are waiting to hear. The result must come out positive and um, the evil perpetrator will be brought to book in no time. Now that the international community has been involved, a lot of things will be be opened nigeria is a great nation but a lot of our leaders are not ready to make that an actualization of which we all know that these are the trick from them because of their greed a lot of things are going wrong it's so unfortunate that the people we call our leader don't want to take it upon themselves that's vanity upon vanity all is vanity i don't know what they are still holding i don't know what they are not trying to release to the masses now is the time that justice must take its space and as it is nigerians are agitating for positive result on this and positive result shall it be all right all right that is it my people on this one me well let me have more take from you on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless